Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Springdale SS or Summerlin Series 3030BH. This is a great bunk model. If you're looking for something that can house a couple kids, you want an outside kitchen and a super slide, then this one just may work for you. Let's start off right over here on the kitchen. What you'll notice is you have the large single basin sink here, which is great, especially if you like using a lot more uh, residential cookware, because you can actually fit that down in the sink here. It'll fit flat. Don't have to try to you know, have it sit in there on an angle. Another thing I enjoy is the fact you have not just a high rise, but a pull out faucet. This does make washing and rinsing dishes a lot easier. The other thing I like about it too, and what I do a lot of times is if you have like your coffee maker right here, like a Keurig, you can just take this and fill up your water basin right there without having to actually remove it. So that's pretty handy. Uh, speaking of coffee machines, you will notice there's an electrical outlet right here. There's another one up top underneath the cabinets too. So you do have a couple different places in which you can plug things in at. Over to the side is your three burner cooktop. The front one there is high output. And you also have an oven underneath in case you wanna do a little bit of bacon. While we're down here, you can take a look underneath the sink. You'll see that this space is large enough for a trash can. So that's great, that way all your trash is out of sight. You have a drawer over here, which is pro probably be used for your flatware. It's a perfect location for it. Little cutout underneath, you know, I'd probably throw some spices or something in there, but if you just want to throw some knickknacks, decorations on there, you can do that too. And over here around to the side, you'll have additional storage. You have two decent sized pull-out drawers here. You might be able to fit some uh, pots or pans in there. Larger one right over here. Um, you know, normally I'd say use this for shoes, but this one actually has a better spot for shoes. I'll show you a little bit later. So, you know, if you want to put a bigger trash can, you can certainly put another trash can right over here, even if you want to. Or again, you know, if you have some of the bigger pots, uh, like a stock pot or something you need to put in there, it would work for that as well. Right over here on the wall, I want to show you, you have your uh, water heater. Notice that this one does run off gas and electric. And as long as you have shore power and obviously propane, you can turn both of those on at the same time for faster recovery. Directly underneath that is your tank monitoring panel as well as your water pump control. You have a fully functional hood here with a light and fan. Microwave, there's the weight of the unit in case you didn't catch it at the beginning of the video. This particular one weighs 7,630 pounds as optioned. Right over to this side here is good storage up top. Great place for some of your cups, plates, bowls, things like that. Light underneath, as I mentioned, there is an electrical outlet there too. Dometic fridge freezer combo right over here to the side. This one runs off both propane and electric. Cut out here for some taller items, couple of drawers right down underneath. We take a quick look at the ceiling. Um, you'll notice that you do have the TV antenna right here. It is a King Jack antenna, low profile. So you can just turn that to find the best signal. You don't have to worry about raising it up or down. You also have ducted AC throughout here. This one does have uh, the quick dump option, so you can open it up, cool it down real quick. You'll have one of those on each side of that AC unit there. But that way, again, it'll stay nice and cool throughout the whole unit. Uh, the floor does have he uh, ducted heat as well. So, you know, if you camp in the colder seasons, you'll be nice and comfortable. Both of those are controlled by this thermostat right here. So set the thermostat. You can see your system right over here, either cool or heat. And then you can set the fan there as well. Right down underneath, this is your propane leak detector. So you can feel safe, folks. You know, if you ever have any kind of propane leak, that will go off. Um, I've obviously never had it happen while I was camping, but it's always nicer to be safe than sorry. Making your way into the bathroom. One of the things I do enjoy is this right here, the fact that you have a second door. So that way, you know, if the kids or yourself need to come in and use the bathroom, you can come in and do the business and head right back out. You'll notice you have your mirrored medicine cabinet right up top, a little bit of storage right there. Underneath is your sink top. You have an electrical outlet. You'll also see you have storage underneath the sink, which is great. Uh, toilet right over here to the side. So if you have to use the restroom, as I mentioned, come in and do your thing. The, I like the way that they angle it this way, so you do have great leg room. I'm a little bit wider in the shoulder, so it is a little tight for me right here on the wall, but you know, definitely still manageable to do what you need to do. And then over here to the side is the tub shower. I'll stand in here for you just to kind of give you an idea. So I'm six foot. You can see that I am kind of up in this fan right here. If you're much taller, you're probably going to have to bend down a little bit, but for six foot, you know, I have a decent little area where I can at least kind of spin around. And then you have the hand wand here just to make showering a little bit easier. I also enjoy the fact that it is a tub. So if you have to give kiddos a bath, you can. And you can see how the curtain will actually stay in the tub itself because you have that tub wall as a threshold. The bunk room in the 3030 is quite open thanks to the slide right over here. 
We take a look in that slide, you will notice that you have a top bunk as well as the cube sofas right down below. This top bunk does have a 300 pound weight capacity on here. So although it is pretty short for an adult, if they want to curl up, they would be able to sleep on here. You'll also see it is strut supported, so it folds up quite easily. And right down below, as I mentioned, are your cube sofas. Cool thing about this is it acts as a sofa if you want to just sit here, you know, when this is up, it gives you a little more headroom. Or obviously you can fold those out into beds. Uh, you can easily sleep two people right down here, which is pretty cool. So even though this is, you know, essentially a three bunk, you can actually sleep four people here. You have the big window across the back, letting in a lot of natural light there. Electrical outlet right down below in case you need to do plug anything in. And then across the way is your third bunk. Again, 300 pound weight capacity on this one. An additional window right there. Down below, you'll see you have some decent sized storage there. You have your fuse box right underneath that, fuse box and breaker panel right there. You can take a look. Uh, obviously, you know, your breakers are for your 110 fuses for everything else. You have your ladder here to be able to climb up in there. And then over to this side is where you will have your TV hookup. So if you want TV, that's where it'll go. Right outside the bunk room, you'll notice you do have additional storage. So I personally would probably use this for the kids' clothes just because there's not a ton of storage in the back. But, you know, if you can make everything else work, then you can uh, use this as additional pantry space too. If you move forward, you'll take a look at the super slide here. This one has your standard style dinette, so you can easily sit four people here for a game or a meal. This does drop down into a bed, so you can have an additional person sleep here. I like that they went with windows above the dinette. That way, you know, you don't stand up and hit your head. So big window right here, another window over on the side of the slide. Kind of right in between the dinette and the sofa, you also see this one has two USB ports there. So if you need to plug in any electronics, that is where you'll want to do it if you're sitting right here. Also underneath, kind of a cool little accent light. You can see that right down underneath. That is controlled by that switch on the wall under those USB ports. Uh, but it just gives it that little extra aesthetic pop at night. Moving over to this side, we get into the sofa. I personally like this sofa. It's a jackknife sofa, uh, but it is quite comfortable. If you fold it, you can see right there, you get a ton of storage underneath. That's probably the biggest advantage of a jackknife. Again, folds down into a smaller bed where you can probably sleep one adult. The thing I like about this one though, is this right here. You have a drop down armrest. A couple uh, cup holders there. I uh, don't know that I'd use them a ton because realistically my arm will be here. But I like the fact you have built in armrests on the side and right here in the center. It kind of makes almost like a pseudo theater seating. Just makes it a little bit more comfortable to sit in. And then right over here, this is probably one of my favorite parts. You can take a look, you have storage all the way across the top. Now while it's not super deep, this is great if you have like glo uh, gloves, scarves, you know, baseball caps, things like that. You can put all those up there again, depending on what time of the year you go camping. Obviously you don't need uh, gloves and scarves when it's warm out, but uh, you know, again, I just like that they put the storage up top. Right underneath that, a coat rack. This is big to me. You know, uh, far too often I go camping. Again, I do like to go camping in the fall and you just don't have a spot to hang up your jacket. So I appreciate that this is here. If you want a TV in the main living area, it'll hook up right over here. You can see all of your hookups. Right down underneath is your multimedia center. This one controls the speakers in here as well as outside and is Bluetooth capable. Little cubby hole right there and some storage underneath that. Over to this side here, I like this too. You have the bench top, so that way you can sit down and put your shoes on. And speaking of shoes, look at that. You have a double shoe rack underneath. So you can come out, you can come in here, uh, kick your shoes off right underneath, hang up your jacket, and you're good to go. The bedroom of the 3030 features an RV queen size bed. You do have storage underneath as well, pretty good size. So if you wanna put like a clothes hamper under there or something for your dirty clothes, it's a great spot to put it. Uh, also on both sides of the bed, you'll notice you have electrical outlets there as well as big nightstands. Now when I was talking about clothes hampers, if you don't want it underneath, this one actually has this built in, which is pretty cool. So if you have room in the pass through, you can also put your laundry basket right there, take your clothes off, toss them right down uh, in there. It's kind of a little dirty clothes hamper that's built in. It's pretty neat. Up top here, you'll see you have wardrobes, hanging rods on both sides. So you have a good spot to hang your clothes. Then you have a shelf going right across the top here with an LED light underneath that. Now that we've seen the inside, let's look at some of the outside features on the 3030BH. Right up front, folks, is a power tongue jack. This makes it a lot easier to hook up and disconnect from the tow vehicle. Basically, you just flip the switch here to raise and lower the tongue. You also have a light in case you are hooking up or disconnecting at night. It does just give you some extra visibility. 
Directly behind that are your two propane tanks with the cover. To access those tanks, undo these thumb screws, lift up this door right here, and you will be in. And then a little bit further behind that, you have rails for your battery. You'll see there is space for one battery there. There's actually space for another next to it, so if you want two batteries, uh, you do have enough room for it. Coming up the front here is the diamond plating. This will help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. That way it hits the diamond plating here and not your aluminum up top. You'll also see this one has a three-year structural warranty on there. That's fantastic. Currently the best in the industry. Making our way around to the side here is your pass-through storage. If we take a look inside, you'll see that it is pretty good size here. It does bump out a little bit on the other side, or bump in rather, so your door is not quite as big on the other side there, but it is still very usable space here for your pass-through. If we drop down underneath, you'll notice not only does this one have a power tongue jack, but folks, this one also has power stabilizer jacks. These are great. Bear in mind, they are not leveling jacks, so you will still want to level the camper out. But for to stabilize the unit, you know, you don't have to sit there and wear out your arm. You just push a button right here. This front control will operate the front too. There's a control in the back for the rear too. You'll also see this right here, which is your enclosed underbelly, folks. You plan on doing, uh, you know, some camping in some of the colder seasons. This will help uh, prevent your tanks and lines from freezing up on you. As long as you have your furnace running, it will blow some of that air into that underbelly. Now going back a little bit further, three steps to get in this RV. You'll see your entrance is right there. The steps, of course, do fold up. And the first one here is fairly low, so that way, you know, it's not super difficult to enter and exit the RV. You'll also see the power awning up top. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And you have an LED light strip there that is sewn into the fabric. The reason that's cool is because it doesn't matter if you have your awning in right now, halfway extended, fully extended, no matter what, you can turn that LED light on and you will still have light here. You will notice that you have two outside speakers. As I mentioned previously, those are connected to that multimedia center inside. And again, that unit is Bluetooth capable. Electrical outlet right out here. So if you need to plug anything in, that will be the spot to do it. Right back here is your outside shower. I like the fact that this is on the door side. Most times this is on the off camp side or it's in the back, but by having it right here, it's super convenient. You know, you come home from the beach, you can just take the shower right here, wash your feet off and then head into the camper. So that way, you know, you're not taking all that beach sand and stuff in there with you. Speaking of that, this is that second entrance we saw into the bathroom. Super convenient here, folks. Uh, you know, again, you can go in there, do what you need to do, come right back out. So people aren't bringing dirt all the way through your RV. And then right back here is the outside kitchen. It's one of the great things about bunk houses. A lot of times you can get an outside kitchen and the second bathroom entrance, which is exactly what we get. You'll see this one has the TV here, so it's kind of an entertainment center, which is great. Light up top. Refrigerator right down below. This is perfect. That way you have a spot to put all of your, uh, you know, your condiments, your beverages, things like that. A drawer, good place to put some plasterware right out there. If you want to put real flatware in there, you can do that too. But personally, I'm not a huge fan of doing dishes when I camp, so plasterware is generally what I use. Then you have this pull-out tray right here. So that way, you know, if you have like a electric griddle or something you want to put on here, you can do that. Or you know, if you want to set up like a grill, you can do that too. You can put it right out here. You'll see there is a propane quick connect underneath. So while this one doesn't, you know, come with a grill or cooktop or anything, it does have a spot in which you can hook one up. You'll also see you have outside water access right here too. I know the outside shower was on the other side of the steps, but this way it is, you know, quite close. If you do want to wash dishes out here, you can uh, use that water there. Coming around to the side, you'll see the rear mounted bumper. This one has the end cap, so it gives you a spot in which you can store your sewer hose in there. And mounted to that bumper is the spare tire. Folks, hopefully you never have to use this, but if you do, uh, having it on the, the rear bumper here is probably one of the easiest places to access it. We take a look right up top in the center, and you'll also see this one has backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera on here, having that prep does make it easier to install, meaning it'll save you money on labor to have it installed professionally. And lastly, right here on the back is your cable inlet. On the off door side, you will see your 30 amp power cord right here. And directly underneath that is your termination. You will see both your black and gray tank valves are located there. Your water inlets for both your tank fill and city fill are in the front. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Springdale SS, also known as Summerlin Series 3030BH. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. 
Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.